before we get into three pillars, and I'm going to tell you what they are, I'm going to take you through a toleration exercise. And that's going to set the tone for the entire time together. So tolerations are things that drive us crazy. They get in our way. We sometimes stay up at night. Let me just try to. We sometimes stay up at night thinking about these tolerations. So I had a client, Kevin, who came to me and said, Joyce, I have a toleration that is so huge and I don't know what to do. So I want you folks who are listening here today, I want you to think of a big toleration that you're experiencing right now. So Kevin said, my mother-in-law is coming to visit us. And I don't like my mother-in-law, but she has to come because she's recuperating from a uh, emergency operation. And I know she has to be here. So we practiced and he had an idea. We decided that what Kevin was really experiencing was the fact that he was concerned that he wasn't going to get space, enough space with his mother-in-law over. So he went to his wife and said, honey, of course your mom is going to come. I need to let you know that I need my space. So please don't expect me to be here every meal and watch TV all the time. And Kevin's wife stopped him and said, honey, I get it. I know what your needs are. So the whole idea is to figure out what toleration do you have and how can you change that mindset so that it's not big anymore and we have a chance to to fix these things and to make sure that our stress is not um, getting in the way. So. I know that Kevin introduced me. So what you may, and yes, I have a master's in guidance and counseling, and I've written three books, but the most important thing for you to know is that I experienced bullies in my life too. And that was a huge toleration for me. So a few years ago, I noticed something that my clients were all, almost all of them were saying they have bullies in their life. And I decided it's time to do research on bullies, more on conflict than the the conflict at work. So I discovered at that time that Joyce had a blind spot. We all have blind spots. Lucky for me, And lucky for my clients, I discovered it because I figured, oh, my, I've got bullies in my life, too. I didn't realize it at the time. I didn't realize that I was a target for them. So I want you to think, is there someone in your life who's always asking you questions like, why do you do this? How come you do that? And you're always defending yourself. Well, it's going to be the worth your time today for this one idea that I came up with during this research. And what that was, I figured, how could I stop being a target? And this is big for you, big for all of us. So I said, you know, I'm curious, what interests you so much about how I live my life? I'm going to repeat. I'm curious, what interests you so much about how I live my life? And my dear friends, my international friends that are watching right now, they stopped asking me that question. I was no fun anymore. So this is a great way to start today. And I'd like you to put in the chat if you've ever experienced a bully or if you are experiencing a bully. So one of the first things that we're going to talk about is the gap. 
the gap is one of the strategies that I use during my online course. The gap is in between when you respond and when someone says to you. So the gap is your safe place. And that's when you're going to get into the gap before you even open your mouth and think what you're going to say. Are you going to be sarcastic? Are you going to say silent? Are you going to be assertive? You have a choice. We all have a choice of how we are going to react. All of us. So let me give you an example, a personal example. They're all true, by the way. I changed the names of clients, obviously. So there I was in a face-to-face -face meeting with a group of first responders. And I was talking about some of the things that I'm going to be sharing with you today. And all of a sudden, there was someone in the audience, we'll call him George. If there's a George here, please don't take it personal. And he said, Joyce, I need to talk to you. Joyce, he was red in the face. He was angry. And I'm thinking to myself, get prepared, get into the gap. He said to me, Joyce, you seem like a nice lady, but this stuff is not going to work on the streets. We deal with drug addicts, alcoholics. This is not going to work. I got into the gap and I said, Joyce, take a second. How are you going to respond? Boom, came out this answer. George, you're right. It's not going to work on the streets. It will work in your office. Because as you know, all the research and all the interviewing I did with this group, there's lots of bullies here. And we need to figure out how to have those tough conversations so we have a bully-free zone. Well, George stood up and I'm saying, oh gosh, what now? He said, Joyce, thank you. You're right. It's going to work in the office. So the gap, and I hope you see the power. And if you see the power of the gap, I want you, please, to put in the chat, I do Joyce. I do Joyce. It's easy. All you have to do, get in the middle before you open your mouth. And guess what? The gap may even tell you, don't say anything. Sometimes silence is okay. So we did the toleration exercise. We did the gap. Now, how to make conversations safe. This is the next pillar. This is also from my online course, and it is actually a trademark of mine, making conversations safe. So as I talk about this strategy, I want you to please, if you'll go with me, think how you can use this strategy. It's easy. All it is, as you saying, I don't want to, I do want to. I'm going to give you an example, don't worry. I don't want to, I do want to. I don't want to create stress between us. I do want to have an important conversation. So there's Alice. Alice is loved by all her colleagues. The thing is, Alice is creating, but she has a lot of stress in her life. And she's bringing this stress to work. So all of Alice's colleagues are going up to the HR director and saying, you've got to do something. She's causing so much stress for us. We're behind. So the HR director comes to me, she's one of my clients, and we practice the gap. And this is what we discussed, how she can approach Alice. Think about, folks, please, think about how you can use, I don't want to, I do want to, as I'm explaining what happened. 
So this is Alice. Now this this is the HR director. Alice, I don't want to create any more stress with you. I do want to make sure that we support you during this time of stress. I don't want to, I do want to. Now, some of you may say, but Joyce, that's not getting to the heart of the problem. You're right. Here I go with you're right. The thing is, this one conversation relaxed Alice. She absolutely understood that she needed to have this tough conversation. That's when the HR director saw Alice was in the palm of her hands and she and the HR director said, we have to figure out what to do because Alice, this is getting in the way of the team's productivity. The end of the conversation, Alice understood it. Things got better. So if you're with me here, I want you to give a big 10. If you're with me here, I want you to step 10, meaning, oh, I hear you. I love this exercise. Give me a 10. So we talked about the mindset. We talked about the gap. We talked about making conversations safe. Now we're going to have some drum rolls. I don't know if you hear that. Dum, bum, bum, bum. This is the one I've never talked about this topic. But let me tell you, if you want to get inside of the head of Joyce Weiss, videos used to be my headache. I've been making videos on social media for years. And every single time I got in front of the camera, hello camera, I froze and I hated it. And guess what? It looked that way. So lucky me, and I hope you also have either masterminds or people who you you really trust that are not going to be out to put a knife in you, but to really give you some positive feedback. I have a friend called John from my mastermind who said, Joyce, I don't get it. You're authentic. You're fun. You're in the moment. The minute you get on camera, you freeze. And I thought about it. And he's right. He didn't have to tell me. But what he did was real. I realized, oh, it's time for a change. How can I be me? I lose myself. So that evening, I saw a politician on TV as I was thinking about my own videos. And she was giving this state of um, a state union. Let me tell you, I saw myself. This politician, when she was giving her speech, was so stiff. Hi. This is what I'm going to talk about. There, You didn't even see her breathe. When she took questions from the audience, she was herself. And that's when I said, that's it. That's me. So I hope that you're going to find some really good strategies. And what I'm going to share with you, maybe you're going to disagree with some of them. I don't care. They work and I don't mean I don't care because I'm sounding like a, a snit. Uh, I don't, it doesn't matter. You figure out what works for you. So one of the first things is before you give a presentation, and yes, I did this today, and I'm so glad because the slides aren't on, and I don't know how I'm doing this, but I know you're with me, folks. You're helping me. Thanks for the energy. So I went up and down the stairs a few times. Before I got on the phone up, before I got into Restream with Kevin, and I got the adrenaline going, and I figured, okay, I got to get in the mood. This is going to be exciting, going to be live streaming. So first, do some kind of jumping jacks, jump up and down the stairs. I don't care what it is. Get some energy. If you choose to use a teleprompter, I do. You notice that BigView's the host, and I don't work for BigView. I happen to be a customer, and I every time I use BigView, 
the teleprompter, it's a smile. So before I hit the record button, so for you, maybe you use a teleprompter, maybe you don't, before you hit that button, put that smile on. And for those of you who are saying, Joyce, I have a very serious topic. Well, do you think conflict resolution's fun, folks? It isn't, but I add fun. I add powerful um, quotes. I add my personality. When we get people to relax, what we have to do is understand that that is going to help. That is going to help them with your, if you have a serious topic. So I took a death and dying class when I was getting my master's of counseling years back. Our professor invited a group of parents whose children passed away. Every single one of them said humor got them through. They had to remember fun times that they had and not the loss of hair and not how sick they were. But when you realize that humor helps us, even with very serious topics, you're going to thank me for that. And I'm going to tell you at the end how you can contact me. So if you like these ideas, and I haven't even gotten to all of them yet, I want you to say, you bet Joyce in the chat, please. You bet Joyce. And if you're ready to make a change. So the next one is so obvious. You went to school. Your teachers, your professors said, practice, practice. Well, you're talking, yeah, the queen of conflict resolution. I'm also the queen of practicing. And it's a good thing that I practiced my PowerPoint today and yesterday and the day before. Because guess what? It ain't here, folks. So practicing helped me so I could be here for you. So sure, you practice, you read your notes, and then I'm going to give you a formula that I use. And I'll give you a perfect demonstration. You first start with a question, a question that may be painful, that your, your prospects, if you are in sales, your prospects can really understand what you're saying. I'm going to give you an example in a moment. Then you introduce yourself. Two sentences, not a half hour. Because the videos that I'm talking about are two minutes or less if you put them in social networking. Then one or two tips. And then a call to action if you want people to reach you. If you don't, you can just say thanks for watching with that smile. Mm -hmm. So here's an example if I were to record something. Would you like to speak up during tough conversations without stressing out? If so, you're in the right place. Hi, I'm Joyce Weiss, communication coach, known as the queen of conflict resolution. And in the, this video, you're going to find out how to tip one, tip two. Thanks for watching. If you've got more questions, all you have to do is send me an email, Joyce at JoyceWeiss.com. That's it. That's two minutes or less. And this formula, a question that is absolutely painful to your viewers, so you know that you're going to get them in. Introduction, but please, it's not about you. Oh, it's so hard. How many people I want you to say yes if you're tired of people just talking about themselves the whole time? Ah, so when I talk about myself today, it's for examples, right? After your introduction, one or two quick tips and a call to action. Let's talk about posture. You notice I have this much space between here and the top. That's what I'm hoping you do. 
so many times when people are on camera, you see them, so they're, oh, here, here, they're down here. Or you, you just can't see them. So that's very easy. That's a fix. You just move your camera up, up and down a little bit. Another posturing suggestion is that do it from your face up, face up, face up. Hello, your waist up. You could, you could see I'm using my hands. If I had my props, I could use my props when I do how to feel heard here. You'd see these. Um, so waist up. And it's, every time I do a video standing up, it's always waist up, mainly because I'm usually in jeans from waist down. And I don't want people to see them. Okay, that's our secret, right? You're not going to tell anybody. So besides having it up like this and waist up and smiling and using the formula, you notice I'm not sitting up like this. And many reasons. I don't want to scare you. When you back up, and especially if you use a teleprompter, the camera is nicer to you. It's really your friend because it's not going to pick up when you either are using the teleprompter or even looking at your notes. I'm looking at my notes right here. You may see it for a second. But the thing is, especially now because my slides aren't here, so you're going to see my eyes go like this. But give me a little slack, OK? I know you will. So get as far back as you can, and you're going to be able to, like I said, the camera is going to be your friend. Get comfortable with your notes. Get comfortable. It took me meh, maybe three videos before I was really comfortable with a, oh, they want, wait, could you put that back up there, please? That went up and it disappeared. I'm getting a message from that. The audience wants me to do something. So, Kevin, put that on if you can. Okay. They want you to repeat the steps. If the, it was the steps for the, the video, I'm assuming that's what that is. Ask a question with pain. Introduce yourself. Give one or two tips. And give a call to action. And if this is not the question you wanted me to, um, if this wasn't your question, please put it in the chat and Kevin will tell me in our little private chat what you want, because that's very, very important. So the teleprompter has changed my life. Now, I have some coaches who are also speakers who say, Joyce, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, here we come again, <clears throat> get into my business, right? You shouldn't really have to use a teleprompter after being in the business for all that time. Well, thanks for telling me what I should or shouldn't do. I know one thing it's made. How can I talk about speaking up without stressing out, without me saying to you, the teleprompter has absolutely changed my life. I am not kidding. You could probably see my little vein sticking out here. I'm so much more confident because sure, I still practice a couple times. It takes me one or two retakes. And the beautiful thing is you make a mistake, boom, retake on the teleprompter. You start all over and you'll get it. Oh, you made another mistake. Oh my God. Everybody pinch yourself for a minute. Not too hard. Oh, it hurts. You're a human being, huh? So we learn from our mistakes. I'm constantly learning. It's just wonderful. It's a wonderful thing to do, to learn, learn, constantly learn. So those are some of the um, video tips that I have. And I am going to go into my notes just because I want to make sure that I, yeah, I give you the best of the best. So I have a question for you. If some of you would like to work with me about 
your confidence, whether it's videos, whether it's speaking up, I have a plan. Like so many of us need a plan when we need to make a change. Option one is you stay stuck. You're confused and you're full of self-doubt. I don't like plan one. Then there's plan two, option two. You follow a roadmap. You feel more confident. So some of the reasons why you're here, maybe, if you reduce your drama and stress, how much would that be worth to you? Can you imagine finally being heard in meetings? How much would that be worth to you? If you could kick bullies in the curb, how much would that be worth to you? And the good news, you now have a strategy. The next time a bully, and I understand that some bullies are off the chart and they're nasty and there could be narcissists and there's probably, there may be nothing you can do. But if it was like my judgy friends, when you start with, I'm curious, what makes it so interesting for you, to, what I do in my life, you now have the power and control. Think if you could feel confident recording your videos like a rock star. What would that be worth to you? Another reason, you're motivated to stop being unheard so you can get the respect. Another reason, you're ready to confidently handle difficult situations and you just can't take it anymore. So I want you in the chat to please write either number one all the way to 10. One is, I'm still not hopeful. I need so much help. I don't have the skills. 10, Joyce, I'm already there, but maybe I could still use a little bit of help. So put a number and afterwards I'm going to be able to see the chat too. So whatever number you have, I invite you and I'm going to tell you about my online course called Kick Conflict to the Curb. It's a six week. Oh yes, he. I, I just got a announcement that I will be very happy and, and share my presentation with you. So in this course, it's a six week online course. And I always, when I launch them, I only have a few people in the course. I'll have a few going at the same time because we, I coach everybody and everybody in the class helps each other. So in the course, you're going to be able to speak confidently without frustration and feeling unheard. Reducing your drama and stress, which is a huge one for my clients. Gain control when others try to push you and maybe even get that promotion. So you're going to transfer, transform from not feeling heard, hands, see, not feeling heard to feeling confident using your voice. So in the first week, the importance of being direct with respect. The second week, we're going to cover making conversations safe. The third week, using constructive feedback. The fourth week, the power of power talk. And this is a trademark that just works like magic. The fifth week, it's verbal Aikido. You're going to protect yourself and know how to do it easily when others push you. And the sixth week, we're going to uh, celebrate your success and talk about your personalized action plan. So what I would like is to, instead of me doing a real sales job, because that's not what I'm about. If you want to find out if this course is right for you, all you need to do is send me an email, joyce at joyceweiss.com, joyce at joyceweiss.com, or put your email in the chat and tell me what, no, all you have to put your email, 
I'll get a hold of you and we'll we'll figure out a good time. It should just take 20 minutes and you could feel very easy. I'm not pushing. That's not what this is about because I want to make sure the course is right for you. And I want to make sure that your your skill level is there, that not your skill level, that that you feel comfortable taking it. And Kevin, it's Joyce, J-O-Y-C-E, J-O-Y-C-E at JoyceWeiss.com, if you can possibly fix it. How do you like that for being direct? Hopefully with respect. So thank you, Kevin. You're listening to me. I feel heard. So if you have questions, that's all you have to do is reach out to me and then I will get back to you about the course, about coaching. And it was Martin Luther King who said, I just love this slide. Our loves, our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. I'm going to repeat that because I sort of made a mistake and see if I record it, I just do it all over again. Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. So I'd like to go back all the way to when we started. And when I started that little fantasy with you, and I want to see if I did my job with or without slides. Just imagine how you're going to feel when you confidently, confidently use your voice during those tough conversations. Hopefully you got some good ideas to how to at least start that conversation. Then your irritations that bothered you are going to magically disappear because you know you have a toleration exercise. A matter of fact, I have a handout. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. I have a handout that I will put together for you. All you have to do is send me an email and I will send that handout. And it's got all these ideas in the handout. Oh, so glad I thought about that. See, I got into the gap. And the last part of our fantasy is how you can make those videos fun, how you can enjoy the process. And if you started today saying, I suck at videos, and I hope I didn't insult anybody with that word, but that's what I hear all the time. And I said that to myself, you now know, and you have some ideas on how you can make them better and how you can enjoy yourself and, and be a lot less experience, a lot less inner stress. So I love the way, first of all, I want to thank Big View for hosting today. I want to thank all of you who stayed on during the first 10 minutes when we were trying to figure this out. And Kevin, thank you so much for trying. You get an A plus in my book. So here you go. Find me on YouTube, Joyce Weiss. Find me on LinkedIn. Go to at linkedin.com slash in slash Joyce Weiss. Get my blog at you can sign up JoyceWeiss.com. And that's a weekly blog called Kick Conflict. Oh, there you go. It's magic. Uh, go to JoyceWeiss.com. And it's called Kick Conflict to the Curb. Stomp out your stress. So, Kevin, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart that I didn't create a lot of stress because of what just happened. And uh, we did it. So are there questions? Yeah, so thanks. Thanks very much, Joyce. That's been amazing. And uh, once again, from our side, apologies for the technical issue. Um, in any event, uh, Joyce really took care of that well, and she showed us really how to deal with, uh, with uh, stress and, uh, <laughs> and conflict when uh, things happen. So uh, that was, I thought that was, that was really top. And thanks, thanks to all of you for, for really for being so supportive 
and uh, sticking with us and hearing what Joyce has to bring us, the value that she has to bring us. Um, and uh, now, you know, if you, anyone has any specific uh, questions, especially John, I'm the one <laughs> bombing. <laughs> so thank this for you, John. Uh, if anybody else has any specific questions for Joyce, we'd like, love to hear from you. And also uh, anybody that wants to get in touch with Joyce or, or wants any any feedback from Joyce or anything like that what, whatsoever, I'm sure Joyce would be happy uh, to give you uh, advice and feedback on that. Uh, please reach out to, to us at Big View at our, our support channel uh, on uh, support uh, at bigview.tv and just ask uh, to contact uh, Kevin for uh, to con to be in touch with Joyce Vice. So that's just that our support. I'll just type that in for you guys so that you can get hold of it if you need to. And um, and a big thank you, a big thank you to to Joyce for for really stepping up uh, in spite of the technical uh, issues and and uh, really taking taking the bull by the horns, as we say. My pleasure. Thanks for if you did this purposely, Kevin. Thank you because I didn't. I didn't faint. I didn't sweat. <laughs> And I knew that there were all these people all over the world that I wanted to help stomp out their stress. So I yeah. I had to do it. Absolutely, absolutely. So let's see if, if we... Um, okay, so I have I have a question uh, from Nina. Thanks, Nina. Uh, uh, Nina's question is, um, how do you respond if someone keeps pressing you even after you've taken your gap? Okay, great question. And what you do is you... They keep on pushing you. You keep. They keep on pushing you. I'm going to jump into a strategy that I use in the course. It's called verbal aikido. And in, and and if you know anything about the martial arts, um, the person who pulls back is the one that is the stronger one. So they're pushing you. And if you push back with, no, I don't. You know, all you managers are the same. Blah 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 blah. Instead of you saying, no, I don't, step back and say, here I come with, the, I'm curious again. I'm curious what, why you asked that, or tell me more, or, um, uh, well, those are probably the first, the first two. I'm curious, tell me more. The reason that you do this, you may say that's having them push you. No, that's giving you control. You're not pushing back. They may then answer in a way that's a lot less stressful than when they were pushing you. But what I want you to do when you ask the question, and if you want some more feedback, just send me an email. I'm really here for you. I will be, you know, definitely love that question. So again, you have the control. Get in the gap. For everybody, I have something. I'm just going to share a, one last, because I just, this is a trademark of mine. Hopefully, you can see this is a chair, cute little chair. And I, every time a trigger, and when you ask this question, I'm hopefully this can help you. Triggers are people who drive you crazy. They're like irritations, but they're people. Triggers are usually people. So I have a few triggers in my life, like you probably do too. And every time I think of a chair, I say, I can't get mad at this chair. A chair is a chair. It can't help being a chair. It's the same thing with your trigger. Your trigger can't help being themselves. So what you have to do is look at them as a chair. Don't take it personal. So Nina, when you ask that question, and it was such a good question, if especially if it's a bully, they're the bully. They're going to be pushing. If they don't push you because you're, you're going to get strong, you say, I'm not going to be a target. They're going to find someone else. Same thing with those triggers. When you don't allow them, even though you control your stress, I love it when I say this, right? You control your stress. That trigger will stop being a trigger for you if you say they can't help themselves this has nothing to do with me great thanks very much uh joyce for for, for that also it, uh, it was really pertinent and uh and um we appreciate you uh 
you giving that feedback. And um, in, anybody else that uh, has any any uh, any questions for Joyce, direct questions for Joyce, maybe that, that, that she can help, or otherwise you can perhaps contact her directly at her email at Joyce at JoyceWeiss.com. Uh, uh, she'd be really happy to hear from you. Um, I'll definitely. Number one, oh, I just interrupted. Don't you love me, Kevin? Right, so, right. yes, send me an email with a question, comments, and if you want the handout, send it to me and I'll send it to you. And if you want to find out more, obviously, about the course or coaching. Right. So, um, so uh, if uh, just before we, we we close off, if anybody has any 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 additional questions, uh, please send them through. In the meanwhile, I'll just tell you we have uh, a lot of exciting uh, workshops coming up as well in the, in the near future. So please check out our YouTube channel. Um, and uh, if anybody has specific requests for topics for workshops, uh, we'd be happy to to look for 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 experts and 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 people with with uh, the necessary skills to present. Um, if you have something specific you're looking for, we can always try and, and fit that in if it, if it fits in with uh, with our general uh, topic of, of anything related to to uh, video creation and uh, video editing and pre preparation for that and, and how to improve it and how to deliver and soft skills around that. That's generally uh, the type of uh, workshops that we like to do. And uh, once again, thank you all for joining us from all over. And I wish you all, all well and uh, and please God the uh, good tidings for everyone. We should all, all be well in good health and uh, peace. And uh, mm -hmm. thank you once again. Thank you very much to Joy, especially, and for for for, for presentation and for professionalism and and uh, taking control when 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 it was needed. Great. Okay. Thanks. So thanks everybody. Thank you very much. We really appreciate you being with us, and we wish you wish you all the best.